sounds like a, an old raspy file on prison bars, but I'm sure Mum Shell wouldn't mind that tonight. I really wanted to be here uh, to honour uh, one of the great women of our lifetime uh, and the way that Elaine and Gordon Siren have captured this history and treasured it for many, many years to make sure the story isn't lost. Um, I would only add a couple of brush strokes to what people who worked intimately with Mum Shell have already told you, and that is to remember the setting, particularly in the inner city. Redfern was a very hard place for Aboriginal people to even walk the street at the time that the dispossessed came into town. And I remember the courage of that generation of women that she stands for. She often said that she didn't want to be overly revered because I think she worked with so many other strong Aboriginal women from country towns like hers. Uh, and wherever we grow up in the bush, you remember those Aboriginal women were mighty strong. So I think uh, Elsa Dixon, Chicka Dixon's partner, was that kind of woman who is not really celebrated in our history uh, of that era of the struggle, but there were many other women that I think she epitomises that strength of character, and I think it was because she dealt with the real world. She she didn't romanticise it. She didn't get lost in ideology or politics. She was a very human being, and she just kept her eyes on what makes us human. Uh, the fact that Aboriginal children, in particular, in that time needed so much nurturing and it came from those direct experiences going to see a brother in, in, a, in prison and realizing that he said you coming to visit me makes a huge difference and the medical needs the contribution there has been celebrated tonight i know but it was the overall sense of well-being and how for a woman who learned in every way in life from so many other people, from things that she'd never been schooled in, as we know, she was very astute at reading the politics. That was a wonderful generation. And I think her guiding hand with the younger people who were coming through, who did have education and gifts and became lawyers and had the edge to be able to lead the struggle from that period, was a, another very rare gift that she had to be able to speak. She often said the young get it and sometimes the older people don't, the obstinate part. So she sort of embraced all of that. And um, it is fitting that this exhibition in the week ahead where we're really trying to look at the, the longer timelines of our history and, and realise these magnificent lives have changed our country for the better. We should draw inspiration from it in the same way that she gave great heart to the young people and to the most embattled and disadvantaged at that time. She was an inspiring woman and this exhibition captures that I love, Gordon, your paintings and the photographs that Elaine has taken over so many years catch the spirit of that resistance an eternal belief that this is Aboriginal country and that when we accept that, we then go together to a brighter day. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. 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 Thank you.